DDR5 has been out for almost two years now, and DDR5 is getting cheap. What can a $120 RAM kit perform like? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chamber here, and today we will be reviewing the King Bank DDR5 memory sticks. Typically when you're buying DDR5, you're going to go to brands such as G-Skill, which is a very well-known brand and all of my previous ram sticks have actually been from g-skill you might think of team group and when you go online you might see oh these ddr5 sticks can be very very expensive but what does a company that you've probably never heard of have the benefit of king bank before we get any farther i do want to say king bank didn't send me out this kit of ram this does not affect my review at all these all my opinions are my own before we actually talk about overclocking or anything let's actually compare this to a previous ddr5 kit that i purchased myself back in december this is my gskill 6600 megahertz kit both are hynix 8i by the way so they're exact same revision the only difference is this one's rated for 200 megahertz faster on the xmp also these do have the heat spreaders removed i did this myself you can check out that video in the top right corner if you are interested now gskill and i have been very critical of gskill for this they do not cool the PMIC right here. This is what controls the voltages on DDR5. And honestly, this really limits G-Skill here. This is what causes people when overclocking to be like, I have to remove the heat sinks. And now on this kit, which is an RGB kit, I just have RGB lights just spewing out of the PC and it doesn't look great. The King Banks don't have RGB. I personally requested no RGB, by the way, but you can get RGB kits here. Also, for reference on how much DDR5 prices have dropped, I bought this kit for about $240 back in December, and now as of June 28th, these are $140. I lost $100 since this kit's come out. Do the King Banks have a PMIC cooling? Yes, they do. They have a thermal pad. It does not seem like a very thick thermal pad, and the thermal pad on the ICs isn't very thick at all. But with aluminum heat spreaders like this, something, a thermal pad at all is better than no thermal pad. I do run these with a fan on them because they still do get hot. And I have not yet removed the heat spreader, but maybe we'll do that later in this video. How do they perform? Honestly, they perform the same. These are the exact same overclocks. I can run my 7800 megahertz profile on both of these actually. The only difference is that because these have the heat sink still on them, they might get a little hot and after a few hours of gaming, these actually might overheat. That is a downside of running overclocked RAM is that if you don't get the temperatures under control, about 46, 47 C is where I find these have issues after a while on Hynix 8i. For every 8i kit, not just these kits. It starts to get a little iffy. For stock performance, this has been kind of known and tested before though. XMP on DDR5 kind of sucks. Literally, I've tested this before. I've done a bunch of DDR5 testing. So if you enjoy testing DDR5, learning more about DDR5, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button as well. Honestly, XMP isn't very good. You can get a 6400 megahertz XMP, 7800 megahertz, and they perform the same. But when manually tuned, boy, do these things stretch its legs. They do get, do get about 10-ish percent more performance sometimes. It's very good. If you want to get your RAM overclocked and have no idea where to start, you can join my Discord. There's an OC guide specifically showing you how to overclock DDR5. Or if you want me to overclock it personally, hit the link down below under Boost FPS, and I will personally overclock your system. The main drawback of this RAM kit, though, is that KingBank is not in the US yet. They sent this out telling me that they would be in the US very, very soon. And right now, you can only get this kit on AliExpress. If you want to get really cheap DDR5, it looks really good. Like I think this heat spreader design looks very, very cool, by the way. Obviously, I don't look in my PC, but hey, if you want some cool looking heat spreaders without RGB? These might be the ones to get. Okay, we actually have something that's kind of important. KingBank is on, they are on eBay for 120 USD with free shipping. You get a 6400 megahertz, so the exact same XMP is a 6400 CL32. With RGB, that looks very kind of just tasteful. It looks very kind of chill. Get it for $120. Pretty good. Let's see. Do they have any others? Is that a... What is this? We're just going to go deep in this. Six, 
32. Okay, 115. Now we're saving money. Next up, let's see how much this really does help actually with temperatures. Let's just see how much the heat spreaders either limit the temperatures or, hey, these actually do really well. So let's put these back in the PC and let's see how they perform with and without heat spreaders. Okay, so here is the RAM 6 installed. I do have my RAM fan over it. All case fans are set to 1000 RPM with the GPU fans turned off because it's at idle. And now we're going over to the gaming PC now and I'm gonna be running Y Cruncher FFT. This is just a pure RAM test. This is full RAM, so that's nothing else. We're gonna be measuring temperature with the with HW info. And as you can see right now, about 30 degrees on both with just the fan on it. So we're gonna run this for about 10, 15 minutes and we'll see how it performs. Here we are about 15 minutes in at this point running FFT and we are getting to about 53, 50. So let's say about 51-ish, 52-ish C on average with both. Now let's remove the heat spreaders and let's see how it performs. I got the heat spreaders removed and this is actually the next day by the way, but these heat spreaders were very easy to remove. These are easier than any other heat spreaders I've ever had to remove. But, so they got this tape, but it isn't super duper like sticky. And I really, really like that about these. It makes it really, really nice. But if we take a look at the PMIC. Yes, it does make contact with it. This is my g skill kit, but look. Makes with all the little capacitors, that, with all the um, little um, VRM part that it needs to touch, which is really good. Next we got here, as you can see, it is making contact with the IC itself. So very good job, King Bank. Now let's plug in the PC and see how much of a temperature drop we got. Okay, now let's test the temperature. So here we have 32, 33 and a half ish temperatures. Now let's run FFT for about 14, 15 minutes and we'll see what the results are. All right, here we go. We've been just about the same amount of time as we did last time and we're dropping about five degrees all around, which is very, very good. Now, if you do not have very good airflow in your case, for example, let me show you guys my airflow. I do have very, very high airflow actually in the PC here. So you see I have fans coming in, I have a RAM fan and fans going out. If you have bad airflow, you might be able to go from like 60 on these to like 50, which would be a 10 degrees drop. But five degrees for me is really good and that actually could help me later on when overclocking. But there you have it. Definitely would recommend the King Bank Sticks. If you're okay with using AliExpress or eBay for getting some good RAM for cheap, definitely hit them up. If not, probably get like some team group sticks. 6400 CL32 is basically like the best XMP you can get for the value I found because they're going to overclock really well. They're going to be 8i 99% of the time now. Um, kind of stick away from G skill for now. I'm not boycotting G skill, but I'm very disappointed in them for being like, oh, we don't need a PMIC thermal pad and then they overheat, which is really shocking because the 8000 sticks they sell literally will overheat on XMP especially if you're and you need an apex for those so g skill stuff of your game good job king bank thank you for sending these out i was very impressed with these you did great chinese ram is now the way to go I'll leave links down below hit the like button down below subscribe support me using my discord links all down below see you guys later peace